Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Canonization, a poem written by John Donne. This poem is written as though an aged person is speaking to one of his addressee. Here the person asks the addressee to be quiet and allow him to love. And if the addressee cannot be quiet and if he wants to criticize the speaker, then he tells him to criticize his other shortcomings like his palsy, his gout. Palsy and gout are uh, certain uh, difficulties which come in the aged person because it will be uh, difficult for them to move their legs and uh, hands so freely and uh, it will immobilize them almost like a paralysis and also his five grey hairs this itself shows that he is an aged person or his ruined fortune or even the fortune which he has lost in his life and he also advises the addressee to first look at his own mind and his own wealth and also to think about how to improve his position and to look at the other nobles and learn from them on how to become a great person in life and he does say and he also says that whatever the addressee is going to say he does not care about him as far as he allows him to fall in love and continue with his love he says like this for god's sake hold your tongue and let me love or cheat my palsy or my gout my five grey hairs or ruined fortune flaught with wealth you state your mind with arts improve he says concentrate on your state your mind and improve the arts which you know take you a course get you a place because all this will take you to a nice place or observe his honor or his grace look at the noble people and see how graceful they are or the king's real or his stamped face contemplate or he says go and look at the king look at the real king or in the coins uh, the king's face will be stamped or even look at the king's face in the stamps what you will approve so you will let me love now he says tell me what you will approve so that i can continue my love then he says now who is hurt because of my love whenever we are in love we will take a deep breath like a sigh and he say did my sigh drown any ships did my tears flood any land did my cold chill the spring or did the heat of my vein add to the number of people who were killed by the plague go and see the soldiers they are fighting in the war look at the lawyers they are still finding litigious men no one is bothered about the emotions of me or my lover then why are you bothered the whole world is only looking at their own work then why are you looking at me and my love so he says like this alas alas who is injured by my love what merchant's ship have my sighs drowned who says my tears have overflowed his ground when did my coals a forward spring remove when did the heats which my veins fill add one more to the plague bill soldiers find wars and lawyers find out still litigious men which quarrels move though she and i do love so he says i and my lover are in love but that has not stopped anything or that has not caused any quarrel for among others no one is hurt because of us so why do you want me to stop my love and then he says you call me whatever you want but remember i am like this because of the love which i have my love only has made me like this you can call me and my lover of another fly or you can even call us candles which burn by feeding upon themselves you can say that we are finding the eagle and down in ourselves you can even bring in the riddle of the phoenix which dies and rises from the same the phoenix bird is a bird which will fall in fire it will create a fire it will fall in that fire and it will become to ashes and from that ashes a new phoenix bird will come out so he says you can even call us the phoenix bird which will die but remember he says it is not we who die it is our love which dies and again it will be born the moment we die again our love will be born as a new love and we will live for that love he says call us what you will we are made such by love call her one me another fly we are tapers too tapers means candles at our own cost die 
and we in us find the eagle and the dove the phoenix riddle hath more wit by us here wit means intelligence we two being one are it he says the phoenix bird it will fall and, and it will be born again so here in the phoenix bird the male and the female is in the same bird same way me and my lover are one we are not two people we are one and together we will fall in the fire and we will come alive again same at the same time together alive again so to one neutral thing both sexes fit we die and rise the same and prove mysterious by this love and all this is happening only because of our love we will die together and we will come back again together for our love he says that if we cannot live by love then we are prepared to die for it we are not prepared to live we cannot live but we will die for our love and if their story is not fit enough to be written on the toms and hers their story is definitely fit enough to be written as poetry and that poetry will be pretty sonnet sir just like how a well made urn is a nice place to keep the dead man's ashes just like a gigantic tomb there's the dead body of the person the same thing can be said about the poems written about the speaker and his lover because these poems will be canonized and admit the sainthood of love because they are the people who show the world how lovers should be and all those who hear their story will tell the other lovers in whichever country or town they are to beg from them and follow the pattern of our love and make that as the pattern of their love he says we can die by it if not live by love and if unfit for toms and hers our legend be it will be fit for verse and if no piece of chronicle we prove we will build in sonnets pretty rooms as well a well wrought urn becomes the greatest ashes as half acre toms and by these hymns all shall approve us canonized for love and thus invoke us you whom reverent love made one another's hermitage you to whom love was peace that now is rage who did the whole world soul contract and drove into the glasses of your eyes he says that our love can contract the whole world as a soul and bring it to your eyes so made such mirrors and such spies that they did all to you epitomize countries towns courts beg from above a pattern of your love so all of them in whichever country they are they will ask us ask the lovers in their country to follow us and the pattern of our love will be made as they love thus done ends this poem in this way it's a beautiful poem written by him if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you